Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, you'll get a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of Surrounded, Fight My Battles, as originally performed by Bethel and Carrie Job on their album, Peace. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in the original key of F and at its original tempo of 65 BPM. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. This patch has piano, pads, strings, and more triggered in the left-hand range, which stretches from here up to here. Your left hand will play octaves for a good portion of the song and single notes in the higher octave at some parts. Your right hand will play piano chords and single specific notes for the entire song. The piano sound for the right hand stretches from here all the way up the rest of the keys. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled song section. As you increase the song section control, you'll hear the pads get louder and an ARP will become present. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play and hold the note of your key in your left hand for the entirety of the intro. Your right hand will play the chord changes. You can voice these chords however you'd like, but here's how to play them to sound like the recording. So then here's the entire intro. For the verses, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play and hold the note of your key in your left hand, just like you did in the intro. Your right hand will play piano chords, which are the same as the ones in the intro. And there are a few extra notes played in the verse, so here's what it sounds like. The second time you play the verse, those extra notes change just a little bit. So here's that verse. For the final verse, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play and hold the note of your key in octaves in your left hand, and you'll play piano chords in your right hand with none of the extra notes you played in the previous verses. The main thing that's different about this verse is the very last chord that goes directly into the outro. On the final chord of the verse, instead of playing this chord, 
you'll play this. As a pickup into that last beat. And then that pattern will continue for two more times as the outro. So here's the final verse with that ending portion. And if you want to sound just like the recording on that very last time, you can play the very lowest note along with the chord changes. For the down chorus, you'll have the song section control at half wit. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand and piano chords in your right hand. You can feel free to play these chords however you'd like, but I'll show you what I like to play to sound most like the recording. And I actually just play single specific notes because the left hand will trigger chords as well. So here's what I play for each of these chords. You'll also notice that an arp comes in when the song section control is at halfway or above. So if you're playing this song without a click, it might be smart to mute that part in your tracks just to make sure that you don't get off tempo. So here's the down chorus. For the medium chorus, you'll have the song section control at halfway, and you'll play octaves in your left hand. You'll play the right hand the exact same as a down chorus. For the big chorus, you'll move the song section control all the way up, and you'll play octaves in your left hand. Your right hand will play piano chords or specific notes the same way as before, but there are a few extra notes and chords. So here's what this chorus will sound like with those extra parts. Directly before the downbridge, there's a short interlude. 
You'll move the song section control back down to zero, and you'll sustain the note of your key in your left hand. And then your right hand will jump up a couple octaves and play a couple chords. So here's what the interlude sounds like. And when I play that, I like to keep the pedal down to sustain that low note that you play at the beginning across both of those chords so that it can continue underneath. For the bridge, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll sustain the note of your key in the high octave of your left hand and play the right hand chord changes. These chords are voiced the exact same way as before. On the repeat of the bridge, you'll add the low octave of your left hand and continue playing chord changes in your right hand. There's a short tag that follows this bridge, which is the last line repeated once. And for this tag, you'll play the chord changes in your left hand in octaves and continue playing the chords in your right hand. There's also a new chord during the section as well, so just pay attention to that. So here's the entire bridge with both hands. Be sure to check out the demo to see how I move the song section control between these different sections and build the intensity of the song. Now just to review the different song section control positions, you'll start the song with the control all the way down for your intro, your verses, and your bridge. At halfway will be your regular choruses, and then all the way up will be that big chorus. Remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. Song-specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all of our song-specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song-specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time.